Good evening. I am here today to talk to you about something that's foremost on all of our minds this holiday season. Presents. Now, of course, the big ticket item this year is the PlayStation 3. Unfortunately, due to small allocations, many boys and girls are going to be very disappointed when they look under the Christmas tree this year. I, however, will not be disappointed. For you see, I have three PS3s. So what do I do first? Do I play video games? Do I watch a Blu-ray DVD? Do I download content from the online marketplace? The answer is, of course, yes. Because I have three PS3s. I have one in the living room, one in my bedroom, and one in the bathroom. Why? Because I have three PS3s. Now I realize that while I have three PS3s, some of you out there may actually have a PS3 of your own and be thoroughly enjoying your purchase. But imagine how I must feel with three PS3s. I think you'll find that I am enjoying it three times as much. Now some of you may be thinking, it's okay, I didn't really want a PS3 anyway. And that's true, it is okay, because you aren't getting one, while I, conversely, have three PS3s. Let me put it like this. Imagine you have one cake, and I have three cakes. This is like that, except you have no cakes, and I have three PS3s. Also, I have this cake. I only have two nipples, but I have three PS3s. Is it worth it? To have three PS3s when I have my hand in a cast. Well, I submit to you that in time this hand will heal, whereas you will never have three PS3s. Now you may be trying to cover for your lack of PS3 by buying a Wii. You may even say that the, playing the Wii is just as much fun as playing a PS3. This is obviously the talk of somebody who does not have three PS3s. This graph illustrates how many PS3s I have versus how many PS3s you have. As you can see, your column has zero PS3s, whereas I have three PS3s. And so I will leave you with these simple words to consider this holiday season. I have three PS3s. Check back with us on December 25th for a special Christmas surprise. We figured it'd be a good day to have it, seeing as it's Christmas. It'd be silly to have the Christmas surprise in, in June.